me around. I'll tell you some history and and uh, about. I'm Anita, James Dupre's wife, and you're all here because you heard about our imminent domain issue. So I'll be explaining all of that uh, as we go along. So what you're standing or sitting in is the uh, opening of the garage. There's a garage door on the right over here. This was a car repair studio. Before then, it was a uh, horse carriage uh, or a horse uh, stable. And you can see from the big the pitched roof, maybe it was used to get uh, you know, the carriages in and out, but it's a pretty tall roof. We bought it in 2005, and about um, a couple months after we purchased the building, we began hearing rumblings about uh, the desire of the city of Philadelphia to take this building and to level it and to uh, put a parking lot here. We're still dealing with this issue. Um, I'll explain it as we go along, but the issue has not gone away and it's reaching uh, its head at this point. So I'll, I'll explain it as we go along. So first thing I want to tell you about is a little bit about the building then and the artwork here. What you're looking at along behind me is a painting that was at the Philadelphia Airport and at Portland Airport. I think that was the only two airports that it was, it was. in. It was in. It was. Um, and James had this, uh, millions of people saw it, and it was, uh, CNN saw, did a story on it, one of the best pieces of artwork in an airport that, uh, that he won some sort of a prize for. Um, so let's move on to the next build, uh, rooms behind me. And as you're walking, watch, uh, watch your step, the, um, oh, the poet. We have a poem before I move on. Okay. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Um, well, I'd like you to join us with uh, Musette, and she's got a wonderful poem that's very applicable to our event tonight. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Musette the Poet, and I just want to say I am honored to be here today, especially a part of history. I thank you, Ms. G and Mr. Debray. This piece is um, called... Uh, tribute to my roots. I feel like this is important to me because this is a part of my roots as well. This has been rooted, as Mr. Bree said, um, the art is so beautiful and I would like to thank you. This is a tribute to my roots, the all that was forgotten. And when it became sunrise on the plantation, some slaves woke up from the dreadful night while others hung on a tree by the sunlight. Some ran away, some got away, so we all can have freedom today. You see, this is no mystery, mm -mm. this is our history. As the ravens crawled down by the big house in Mississippi, the slaves prayed for salvation, took a home to see the royal city. Because life here on earth wasn't too pretty, and it's sad when we wake up to our reality, to know that we're bound to the change of slavery. And oh yes, we risk death because we'd rather die free. You see, because that was the only way that we could have liberty. See, let me take you back to the hands of time when slavery was no crime and we were sold from dawn to dust and we had no opinion what was going on with us. So let me take you back to the moments of the slashing and bashing and hearing our bones cracking. Let's not forget the experience of the hangings and of church burnings, restrictions of learning, ever working, never earning, with wagon wheels turning, with white sheets with holes in them and being tied to railroad tracks and whips on our backs. Let me take you back to the days when slavery ended, which we formed the land on which we depended which was called sharecropping, which was another way for them to start robbing the black men without any problems. See, we have to teach our children not to hate their own kind, just like we did in the past. And oh yes, we made inventions that did last. The traffic signal, the truck refrigeration, and the gas mask. So you see, I know that we're up for the task all over the states, people of color that paved the way, leaders like Booker T, down to the NAACP. We had leaders like J.A. Rogers who researched our black history so that our minds could be free. And Madam C.J. Walker, which was the first black woman millionaire with hair products 
for our colored people. Oh, listen to me and let me teach you. And Mary McLeod Bethune has served as a special assistant to President Roosevelt on monetary affairs. You see, we're moving up from America. Now beware. And Malcolm speaks from the prison walls down to the masjid halls. Revolution and philosophy. And oh yes, Dr. Martin Luther King marched on Washington in 1963. Phil Randolph has stopped segregation in the United States Armed Forces. We're marching to Zion, there's no more crying. And on December 1st, 1965, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat to a white man. I ask myself, how can them? We'll be free from bondage and poverty. We'll have education and equality. And yes, this world can be changed by people like me and you. Thank you. Give it up for Placenta the Poet. We can change the things that we see. We just have to come together and do what we think is needed, do what we want, and don't let the politicians think that they can do just what they want. We are citizens, we can unite together, so thanks a lot for coming out. And my mother Anita is gonna give you a tour of the building and let us know if you have any questions. So we're gonna start uh, right over there, thank you.